Welcome, Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your, your hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. You just told me the most disturbing thing about monkeys, and you need to share it with the audience. I can't decide if it's disturbing or alarming or, like, what the fuck this shit is. So, mm. the headline. Because, you know, we're a headline society, so all we read is headline. Target joins Costco in dropping coconut milk brand over forced monkey labor allegation. <laughs> I had to read it twice, and then I had to read it to him twice. Because he didn't believe what I was saying. Or, like, it just doesn't make sense. How do you force a monkey to, to, to work? You know, the whole I read through the whole article, and it just, like, it talks about how PETA is claiming this, that these Thai coconut milk producers are exploit, exploiting monkeys, and that, and that the company denied the allegations and that they audited their plantations and found no use of monkeys for coconut harvesting. So, like, I don't get it. So the company's flat out denying it, hundred percent. And yet you told a, me, and yet you told me that a whole bunch of other businesses have joined in. Twenty six thousand retailers across the country, including all Target and Costco locations, and a bunch of other things I never heard of before. Okay, so just just stopping right there. Okay, <laughs> you, you have a situation where one side's accusing another side, and the other side saying that it's not true. Why do we all suddenly side with? The, a particular side of the discussion and then take it so seriously that we essentially cancel the other person out of existence? I mean, I feel like if we owned a major retail location and somebody was like, yo, monkey labor, I would be like, okay, let's all get together and investigate the monkey labor. Let's sneak up on their plants and see what's what and find out if there's actually monkey labor. Because if there isn't, then I don't necessarily want to stop selling a brand my customers enjoy. But if there is, then I'm going to take them off the shelves immediately because that's disgusting. Well, and that's very reasonable. It's very reasonable. Tend to be more reasonable than most. But most people are lemmings. And let me explain what I mean by (laughs) lemmings. He loves the word lemmings lately. What it means, it's very, very simple. It just means that you like to repeat back as though it's your original thought what the mainstream media headlines say. You like to repeat those things back without having any knowledge of those things, without having read any of the articles that gave rise to those headlines of those things. But there you are in an argument presenting it as it's your original thought. But yet, you can't even answer simple questions about it. That's a lemming. And it's simply a label. It's not calling someone a name. There's people who are doctors, right? <laughs> there are people who are lawyers. And then there are people, who, another subset of society, there are people who, hey, there's people who are doctors and lawyers at the same time. But then there's that subset that is also a lemming. Yeah. We're there. So we there got we it. are. We got it. Lemmings. Lemmings. Just to label people. So it Calm just down. makes me, it just exactly, it just makes me laugh because people, you, you literally have one side saying, you did this. You're terrible. You made the monkeys go up in the trees and take the coconut juice out. You forced them to do it. And the other side's going, well, hold on a second. You know what? I'm not just denying it. I'm going to tell you that I... Listened to what you said. I went and investigated. I kind of snuck up on the plant to see if there was any monkey labor, and there wasn't any monkey labor. 
So you're wrong. We don't have monkey labor, and I'm not backing down. And so why do we then choose not only to agree with the first person, but to agree with them so hard, like so intense, that we want to put the other person out of business? And and you don't know that your side's right. You're not guaranteed that. I'm having a picks or it didn't happen kind of moment with this yeah, whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, if the monkeys are being forced to harvest the coconuts, bad. Stop it. All the shame on their company. Whatever. But if they're not, then why are we canceling a company that's not doing anything wrong? Well, no, this doesn't change my opinion at all. But like, I have a hard time understanding how you can force a monkey to do anything. Anything. You could train a monkey to do something, but you can't, I don't see how you could force it to do something. I really don't think a monkey is the type of creature that you can beat the crap out of it or something, and it'll go, oh, it wants me to go drain a, a coconut. No, they, they're, not that, they're not that smart. They're well, they're smart, not, not draining that smart. them. They're harvesting them from the trees. Even if that's the case. They're not smart enough to know, oh, well, if I go do that, they'll stop beating My me. My God. Apparently, Thailand has been raising and training pigtailed macaques to pick coconuts for 400 years. It's a thing. Monkeys pick coconuts. But but you just said the key word. They've been training them to do it. That's not forcing but them to do to it. But according to PETA, they've been chaining them and abusing them. Again, Pixar didn't happen. I'm sorry. I'm not, not going to argue. Their website. I'm not going to argue that it did happen. I'm not going to argue that it didn't happen. I'm just going to say, show me the pictures, or it didn't happen. Also, End apparently, of this happened. Story. Target dropped this brand in August, and I'm just seeing news articles about it now. Yeah, that's how important it was. Whatever. Uh, anyway, you got to hear some of these comments. But the though. funny part that made me roll on the floor laughing was the comments. From the people in the peanut gallery. This is like, like, here's the first one. Go ahead. If you can think of a more natural way to gather coconuts, I'd love to hear it. That's funny. You didn't laugh. So how is it funny? (laughs) Oh, it was funny. (laughs) Then there's a lot of people with comments like this one. Wait, monkey labor. That's a real thing. That's This is cool and all, but I'm pretty sure you still sell products that use child labor to produce them. But great job on saving those monkeys, though. Yeah, that's actually, <laughs> when you think about it, that's pretty like pushing the lever down and the bomb going off kind of a response. <laughs> because they're basically saying, yo, you, you do realize that there are little kids being forced to, to work and you're, and you're worried about monkeys. Now that you've beaten their comment to death. <laughs> well, excuse me for explaining my viewpoint of it. After all, it is called the nightly rant, and I tend to be the one that rants. So maybe I want to rant. Go for it, then. You rant, maybe and I will just turn my microphone on. tired of stupid people. Maybe. How about maybe I am. Monkey EDD will give them a nice little vacay. Probably DoorDash banana splits all day long. Like, I love the creative sarcasm of these people. That one's pretty funny because, is it, am I wrong? Is it basically saying, you know, let's just give the monkeys everything for free and protect them because poor ba- poor baby monkeys? I think it's more of a dig at the government of California. Yeah, exactly. Like, the the people that come here, they immigrate here without papers. Or the people that are put out of work by the government closing everything down and they're just being given weekly wages right now. Ah. Uh, it's more like it. Light bulb turned on. And this Ding. one this one kills me. Mostly because I find it relatable. Well, at least the critters had jobs. Maybe they can put in a good word for the pipeline workers who lost theirs. <laughs> I liked that one. I liked that one. I liked that one when you read it to me the first time. That was funny. Great. Now the monkey can't afford to feed his family. Yeah, that'd be something that someone would say. For sure. Right there. That's a for sure comment from somebody. I heard monkeys like to put lime into the coconut. (laughs) (laughs) This one, though. Okay. This is the the best comment that I read. So this is going to be the last one that I read. No Uh, wonder... They can't run our country. Pelosi and the crew are too busy picking coconuts. 
<laughs> oh my god, I cannot stand that. That's too funny. And now I will never, ever, ever. When I see, have you seen any of the Planet of the Apes movies? Yeah. And you know, like when the leader of the apes stands up and talks and he's like you know a tough mfr you know yeah Rawr. you're just gonna see him with a donald well, trump wig on now well, yeah from now from now on i'm gonna see him with a donald trump wig and like the other underlings looking like nancy pelosi every time i see nancy pelosi i'm gonna see them well she already kind of looks like a wrinkled old monkey's ass so <laughs> <laughs> she's she's special it's for sure she's special so the headline itself was pretty interesting the article itself was trash. Like, there's no information in there whatsoever. Like, I had to go look up myself what was happening. Yeah, that's where the concerning part of all of this came came into play. But you neglected to tell me when you told me the first time that the company denies the allegations. Well, I read you the whole article. Maybe they added that part later. They had to have because, because the company hadn't denied anything yet. Um, but I think, you know, in my opinion... The fact that they said they didn't just say no, that's not true. We didn't. You're, you're lying. They didn't just blow it off. The fact that they had a story that hey, we went here, we checked this, we looked over there. And there are no monkeys. So now what's so, happening is what you're telling me is coronavirus is going away. So all these half-assed news networks are publishing stories from last August to try to get people riled up. Exactly. You you're exactly right. I see. And and you know well, let, let's kind of let's kind of close out on this note because you know I I have an interesting um, angle for tying this together. Well, I just have a comment first. Go for it. If anybody wants to laugh at the idiocy of the internet, this post where I got the comments from is on ABC 7s Facebook page. The comments are worth your time. <laughs> Go find it. Too bad I don't Facebook. Um. <laughs> So, okay, you know, you're talking about the um, people being put out of work and, you know, all that fun stuff. And the bigger the bigger problem, though, was then, you know, oh, let's not do it the way we said. Let's do it, you know, the way we want to. And everybody is like, oh, Biden said he signed an executive order making it mandatory that you have a mask on while on federal property and then proceeded to be on federal property without a mask so are you telling me that you think biden is going to find his own pipeline after saying pipelines are bad yeah because i think the post i read to you the other day is more accurate about the pipeline situation do you remember it yeah but i think he's played everybody it said or whomever has their hand up the puppet's ass because he's the puppet well they they, that person has played i'm about to tell you who okay the Keystone Pipeline, canceled by Biden on the first day. Warren Buffett owns the railroad that is now transporting all that oil. Warren Buffett donated $58 million to the Biden campaign. Warren Buffett would lose billions in transportation fees if the pipeline is completed. See how politics works? It's not an environmental issue. It's a money issue. That makes me angry. <laughs> it should. But why don't people get angry about that? Why is it that I 100% guarantee you... Hey, if you're from from our community group on Facebook and you're listening to this, I want you to think about this question. If I were to take that information and post it on a Facebook post and show that, you know, Warren Buffett donated $50 million to Biden, here it is. Biden cancels the Keystone pipeline immediately upon taking office. Donor who donated $50 million is the railroad company that is now handling the movement of that oil. They would come up with an excuse for why that wasn't the case. Uh 100% would come up with an excuse. But if it was the other side that was having this issue, they would be like, oh, it's criminal. I can't believe they're getting away with it. They're like the mafia, blah, 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 blah. That's a lemming, people. That's a lemming. But why is it okay to just dismiss what someone says, as is the truth? Now we're full circle back to the lemmings. Yes, That's that was it. the whole point. Wow. Moose is asleep. No, she's not. Everybody she's else gnawing is gnawing on my arm. I would like to go to sleep. You're not allowed to.
Good night, everyone. I just said you're not allowed. All right. Hasta la bye-bye. Lemmings. Thank you for listening to The Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.